water is life. If we don't have water, we don't have economy, we don't have food, it will be very difficult to produce energy. We have huge challenges both to water quality and water quantity in Europe. If we don't start doing better than we're currently doing in, in managing our waters, we are really steering into big problems in the future. We need an ownership to implement it, an ownership of authorities, but also an ownership of all citizens, all water users have to feel concerned. We are over abstracting our rivers and groundwater. We do not leave enough water in the ecosystems so that they can continue functioning. The issue is with water there's no silver bullet here. There's no one measure that, that can put things right. The European approach to tackle problems really on a river basin scale, I think that is very suitable. Our policies are working. We have seen in the last 10-20 years huge improvements. I stay behind the Water Framework Directive. I think that is outstanding uh, in the world. That's a European achievement. Another issue that we have is lack of coherence. It is clearly there's uh, connections with agricultural policy, with energy policy, with chemicals policy, with transport policy. And we need to ensure that these different policies all pull in the same direction. Private companies play an extremely important role. They are very often uh, major water users. We should also have an impact on, on about the governance on the territory where the water is. And the second role of private company is to raise awareness in their supply chains, to say, hey, have a look, we are doing that, we are good water stewards, what about you? The call to action would be to really understand their water risks, place yourself within the river basin and really see where the problems of the river basin are. Implementing these kind of measures is mainly very often a financial loss. Water pricing is one of the tools and one of the solutions. In large parts of Europe, these pricing policies are not working. Users of water are paying a derisory price uh, for water, and which has a negative impact on, on water efficiency. If the price of water is definitely too low, you are not encouraged to save. We as water bill payers are picking up the bill of improving our water situation and some economic sectors are continuing to get a free ride. We can have as much technical innovation, we can have a lot of laws if we don't change awareness, um, all of us in a way, in all of our roles, I think then nothing will happen.